Okay, hello again everybody. So in this video we're going to be looking at uh, Eight on a Hand and Crusader 842s for the tenors. Okay, so by this point you should understand where the tenors are written on the staff, how they cor correspond to each drum. You should know how the drums are positioned on your instrument. Your stand should be all set up properly. You should be ready to play these exercises. So I'm gonna play them at 100 BPM. Uh, like on your sheet music, like on the Sibelius videos, like your MP3s and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to play eight on the hand first, and I'm going to play them through the high levels on drum two. That way you get a sense of what it sounds like when we treat the tenors as if we were to play a snare drum and really get used to just playing the exercise first. I'll play them through the high levels that we learned in class so that you can get a good sense of um, how the high levels sound like your instrument. Okay, here we go. One and a half inches. One, two, three, four. to play eight on a hand with the high levels around the drum. So a couple things to pay attention to when you're playing tenor. Drum one and number two should be in your playing position area. And when moving from drum one to number three, or from drum two to number four, we're not turning our wrists over. We're literally just moving our, our elbows or our forearms back just a little bit. We're not turning our wrists over this way, and we're not turning our thumbs up or our wrists out to play. Okay, so keep that position when moving the drums, you can keep an eye on that. I'll play this one eight on a hand through the high levels around the drums as well. Also be careful when you're doing the crossovers to not bring your other hand out of the way. You're crossing over top, okay, over top of the left and then over top of the right. You want to keep your resting hand low and out of the way of the crossing stick, okay. Thank you. sure that if you're playing one and a half that one and a half is consistent across all the drums that the height stays consistent 
you don't want to play these drums at one and a half, then play these at a six. That won't work like that. Okay? So here it is in the three. One, two, three, four. Crusader 842s. I'm not going to play it through all of the high levels because, like, we should be doing, we're going to be doing that in class anyway, and it's up to you to practice that. And you just saw me do it with eight on a hand. So, in order to not make the video too long, I'm not going to play it through all the high levels. I will play it though at 100 BPM. I will play it on drum two first, and then I'll move it around after. I'll probably play it at a relaxed six to nine for you guys, okay? So, here's Crusader 842s on 10. On drum two first. One, two, three. Here's moving it around the drums for you so you get a sense of what it sounds like. Again, keep your wrist down, move your hands back and forth, don't turn over, okay? There's no crossovers in this one, so you can really focus on hitting the drums in the proper playing areas. One, two, three. Crusader 842s. Okay, see you next time.